in this northern Chilean desert in a place now called Camp Hope, prayers are being answered over and over again. Very happy, very happy that the boys are coming out, that it ends already, that their suffering and our suffering ends. No one in recorded history has survived as long as these men after being trapped underground. Wearing sunglasses to protect them from the light after being more than half a kilometer underground for more than two months, Florencio Avalos was the first miner to emerge. Mario Sepulveda was the second. Known to many as the jokester and the miner's spokesman, Sepulveda spoke about how the experience tested his faith. I was with God and I was with the devil. They fought me, but God won. He took me by my best hand, the hand of God. I held on to him and I never had, how do I put it, I never thought for one minute that God wouldn't get me out of there. A cave-in sealed 33 miners in the San Jose copper and gold mine. The Chilean government worked with engineers from the U.S. space agency NASA to develop a way to free the men. For weeks, the miners waited as rescue crews drilled a narrow shaft to where they were. Finally, this metal capsule called the Phoenix, symbolizing rebirth, transported them home. Georgina Gallagullo, the niece of one of the miners, says the emotion here is overwhelming. Immense happiness. It makes the heart tighten. It makes you feel like crying. But the happiness is huge. Chilean health minister Jaime Manalich says so far the rescued miners are in relatively good health. We have had problems that are really very minor. An increase in heart rate and arterial pressure in all of them as they come up. In all cases, they have recovered well after a period of rest in bed without needing any specific external medicine. Chilean President Sebastian Pinera says the mine has a history of accidents and it will be closed until the safety of those working there can be guaranteed. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News.